welcome back, Hookaholics, Foul Mouth Fishing. Um, another impromptu unboxing. So, uh, you all know I used to uh, get the Angler's Hall, and then I switched over because Angler's Hall stopped supplying. They stopped shipping with COVID-19, interrupting their processes. And then I went to Fish Vault, and Fish Vault was um, more than disappointing, quite frankly. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, none of their boxes seemed to really hold true to that Angler fishing gear uh, subscription box that I was looking for, especially at the price point of $150 a, a, a box per month. Um, so I stopped getting them. I really did. I just stopped getting them. Um, I never canceled Angler's Hall. They canceled me. Uh, I know No Redemption Outdoors had issues with uh, Angler's Hall. I, I'm glad he got that resolved through his bank. Um, I went with this company and I had similar issues with this company where I protect myself, I use like a VPN style card, so it's impossible for them to get any more money than I allocate them to get. Um, they can keep charging all they want, they're not gonna get a penny out of me because as far as they're concerned, the account doesn't exist. And that's what I do to protect myself from scammers, uh, online um, purchases that aren't, uh, aren't really 100% reputable companies. I, I don't go for the, uh, you know, the Facebook posting purchases. Uh, I know a lot of people have great success with that. I don't go for um, the Instagram corporation companies shops. Uh, I like actual brick and mortar stores and I like real online retailers, um, you know, the tackle warehouses, etc. <clears throat> that all said, I stopped getting them. But you, you, you see this here? That long tube with the Fish Vault logo locked on it, that showed up at my house. And then shortly thereafter, this showed up at my house. Again, I stopped getting them. So for whatever reason on their mailing uh, invoices, they shipped me a rod and a box. So screw it, I'll keep them. I didn't order them, didn't pay for them. Don't owe them a dime. So, uh, lo and behold, let's open this mystery uh, fish vault. Uh, truth be told, I already opened it. It is the November uh, fish vault. So, uh, we're going to crack into this, and I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm just going to give away. Uh, I did a posting in my communities tab right quickly, uh, and I left it up to you, my, my foul mouth fishing hookaholic friends out there, to give me your opinions on what you would like me to do for this Christmas season, 2021. And uh, I put up any option I could think of from uh, doing a giveaway of, say, Tackle Box uh, subscription, or like I did with, uh, uh, you know, I did a three month giveaway for uh, three months of the um, Mystery Tackle Box, which I am so awesomely stoked that uh, that Juggalo Fishing Posse won that. Last season, Christmas, I gave a big giveaway box. Um, you know, I do these things just out of appreciation. But uh, you in the community voiced your opinions, and I think it was 46% or so. Um, so almost half of you decided that uh, you didn't want me to spend anything for you on Christmas. And I'm a man of my word. I said you'd, you'd make the choice, so be it. So what I'm going to do is what I probably would have given as a Christmas gift. I'm going to throw all that into my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So when we reach that milestone, uh, those items will be added to, to that giveaway. So it'll just build that giveaway up a little bit better. <coughs> Including that rod back there, which will go to the 1,000th subscriber giveaway. Um, so with all that being said, let's crack into this freebie freebie from Fishbowl. So as I said, I did open this earlier uh, because I was shocked to see it and because I didn't pay for it. So uh, it is, as I said, the November's, November's Fish Vault. Um, November 2021 Elite Collection. We have two, four, six items ranging from $80 which is something hilarious, to $4, which is something useful. Go figure. <clears throat> We're going to start with the $4 item at the bottom, if I can dig it out of here. All right, so for $4, we've got Green Bump... Green Bumpkin. Green, green Pumpkin Gobi. 
in the uh, two and three quarter inch size Z-Man TRDs. So we got the finesse TRD, um, uh, you know, catches small mouth, big mouth, it doesn't matter. Small mouth, large mouth, any kind of fish. They love these things. They are a definite go-to. Uh, green Pumpkin Gobi gives you that green pumpkin with that purple flake. So, uh, you know, I love Gobies anyway. $4 for that. They have $7 listing. Again, another reason why I no longer go with Fishbowl. The, the dramatically overpriced, overvalued um, price points that they give. Uh, in here somewhere. Don't worry about them. For $7, Z-Man's Finesse Jig Hooks. So we got the Nedlock Z-EWGs. Uh, these are one-tenth size, number one hook, and it is a four count. Yep, four count. Four count of one-tenth, four-pack, green pumpkin, Ned Head Rigs. So they're Ned Lock. See, they got the little, they got the little weight on the shank. Really good, great hooks, Z-Man hooks. Um, you know, they got the lure lock kind of notch in them. That puts that lead kind of pins the uh, the Z-Man plastics. And believe me, the Z-Man plastics are worth far more than four dollars. The plastics themselves will be worth a dollar a piece because you can get so many fish on these on these baits without them breaking off, tearing up. Um, they last forever. All right, four to go, and now we're getting to actual price point territory where we're getting our values for our box. Active Skin Repair Hydrogel, another great non-fishing item. Active Skin's medical grade skin and wound repair, sting-free, supports the body, natural healing process, uh, cuts, scrapes, rashes, insect bites, burns, sunburn, and other minor skin irritation. It is a bomb, an antibiotic cream. Um, okay, great medical stuff for fishing it's nice to have again i still wanted uh you know dykes uh bulldogs for cutting off hooks stuff like that but having medical stuff for people like me who are prone to putting hooks in hand or knife through finger <laughs> uh it, it's good to have so i appreciate it not fishing specific but i do appreciate it so there's that that was a 30 dollar item $30 for, oh, by the way, let's see, how many? Three fluid ounces of antimicrobial uh, hydrating, whatever. Okay, so $10, $10 an ounce. Three fluid ounces at $30, bucks, $10 an ounce. Okay. Gear Aid, we know this company, uh, it's big with fish vault. Gear Aid's Burry Utility Knife, something I'm actually happy to have. So this will go with my working memorabilia while I'm at work. We've got uh, Gear Aid's Burry Drop Point. I like Drop Point Edge knives. Uh, full Tang, and uh, it comes with a plastic, um, a plastic sheath. Not bad, heavy duty. They have it pictured in a nice reflective orange, which would have been better, obviously, for fishing. Uh, but the one I got was black, which is cool with me because I quite frankly hate high vis number colors anyway. Uh, again, another $30 item. Um, it's got that drop point edge, but it's got a dual bevel, so you can kind of cut rope on one side and keep your, he's got a serrated edge on the tip here. You can cut rope on the back side and then keep your slicing blade very sharp. That's always appreciated. Um, and I do like, it's got a good thumb notch here. I like these kinds of things, especially this particular blade shape and design for, you know, uh, outback you know, campings, whatnot, because you can use this and a nice heavy hardwood log or stick as a, a chisel and a hammer, and you can cut logs and, and chip things and do what you got to do. I appreciate that. $30, that's something I'm definitely going to have use for. Uh, <clears throat> next up, for $55, with the last two items, Bubba Gear. We like Bubba. They gave us that uh, fillet knife, the electric fillet knife, a bunch of stuff. Bubba's split ring pliers for $55. I do have split ring pliers, but I can't say that I got a pair quite as nice as these. So there's that Bubba with that nice little, uh, very textured uh, grip that, that is very good for slip ring kind of materials. You got the split ring tooth nose there, good pliers, and a crimping pliers. So he's got that crimp 
in the middle, which is great. Um, it's got a cutter, so that's good for braid and, and mono, big mono. I'm actually liking the sheath included. Okay, it's got a sheath inside, so it's probably got a canvas sheath. So it's got the carbide cutter, titanium nitrate coated uh, jaws, um, split ring pliers, crimper, corrosion resistant aluminum uh, main body, that's this black part, spring loaded, it's got a lanyard hole in the handle, non slip, gri uh, slip grip. Um, another thing, definitely nice to have. Um, I'll definitely keep this and use it, that's for sure. Never, too, never, ever, ever bad to have extra split ring pliers. Um, $55, I don't know, Bubba's an overpriced company. Now, for $80, the main high ticket item, and remember, this is a $150 box. So far, I've gotten, uh, let's see, 50, 80, 120, or excuse me, 110, uh, 120, 120 bucks if you go from the bubble pliers down, 4, 7, 30, 30, 55. Um, this is 80 bucks, so I'm considering this the box value. What do you get the guy that has everything for Christmas? Something the company already sent me. So hold your thought for a second while I walk over here. No edits to stay with realism. Alrighty. So several months back, one of the other things that kind of perturbed me about this company, uh, they gave me a boot dryer. Never opened it, didn't use it, don't really care. Bulldog dryer. So it is a extendable boot dryer. Plug it into the wall, dries your boots. Again, I said, yeah, you know, stretching through the woods in my boots, mucking them up, maybe taking a drink here and there to go get a lure. It's nice to have a boot dryer. I forget exactly how much this was. Can't, couldn't have been much. So what did they send those who subscribed? A boot dryer. Boot dryers. So for a company that already shipped out a few months ago, a boot dryer. Months ago. Not last year. Not two years ago. Not buffeting off to people who may no longer subscribe. But within the same, I'm going to say four months, five months, same six months, you're giving me two boot dryers? Really? Waiter dryer. All right, so... This dries just your boots. This one's tall enough to dry your hip waders or thigh-high waders. And boots. Because it's a dryer. <sighs> More than a shoe dryer. Waders, hip boots, tall boots, 12 hours or less, removes condensation, and where uh, obviously deodorizes because it gets rid of the moisture that would cause the bacteria to grow. So... <sighs> If that was the case, they should have just went with this to begin with. I mean, this is more fishing specific because it's for more or less waders. This is just your work boot boot dryer. So, I mean, they could have just given us this, and people who have just boots could use it to dry their boots. People who have hip waders could use it to dry their hip waders. Um, I just don't... <laughs> just don't get it. I don't need so many bloody dryers. And, of course... Well, this is a Pete. Pete's a better brand. I like Pete. Pete dryers. So, Pete the original waiter dryer made in the USA. Bulldog boot dryer made somewhere, probably China. Uh, copyright Bulldog. I don't see a made in the USA flag, but that doesn't mean it wasn't made in the Americas. So, whatever. Just, at least this is more angler specific, but 80 bucks, not something I want. All in all, $150, not worth it. Did get a free rod because they confused and thought that I guess I don't know that I needed one. I, I have no idea. Uh, all that said, leave in the comments below what you think. I am pretty darn happy and ecstatic that I got a free box, but a lot of these companies will ship out uh, the pro staff people a free box. Um, like I said, a lot of this stuff, I'm, I got stuff over there, knife sharpener and whatnot, I'm probably going to put away for the giveaway. Never used, not opened, brand spanking new, because I'll never give anybody anything used. It's just not in me. I want you to have brand new equipment, brand new stuff. Uh, that all said, again, leave in the comments, what do you think about this fish vault? And uh, as soon as I'm done this video, I'm going to get on to the real cream of the crop, my MTB for the month of December. 
I thank all of you for spending this little bit of time. Short one. Uh, not a lot of items, so it didn't take too long, even though I keep drawing on. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all have a happy and wonderful festive uh, holiday. So Merry Christmas, Happy uh, Hanukkah, uh, fantastic Festivus for all of you, and whatever your holiday, uh, you know, celebrations happen to instill. Um, God bless you all. Peace, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Thank you, Alcoholics. Thank you.